Hello physics students, welcome again in our math 6 class. Are you excited for term 2? Okay, let's continue our lesson and we are now on chapter 6 and we will talk about time. In this video, you will learn lesson 1, converting time between hours, minutes, and seconds. And also lesson 2, telling and comparing time. You can find these two lessons in your learner's book pages. 72 until 78. The learning objectives of these lessons are to convert units of time, to tell time in 24 hour clock notation, and to compare times. Okay, physics, are you ready? Come on, let's get started. Let's start with the converting time. Here are the conversion for time. Let's start with one day. One day is equal to 24 hours. We use H for hours. Next, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. We use MIN or MIN for minutes. And we have 1 minute with, which is equal to 60 seconds. And we use S. Okay, so let's start converting time. I have here a problem. Let's read together. Mardi finished her project for 2 hours, 25 minutes. How long did she finish her project in minutes? So, let's convert 2 hours, 25 minutes into minutes. 2 hours, 25 minutes is equal to 2 hours plus 25 minutes. So, remember our conversion earlier that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, for 2 hours, that is, yes, let's multiply 60 by 2, that is 120 minutes. So, we have 120 minutes plus 25 minutes. So, it's 145 minutes. So, Mardi finished her project for 145 minutes. Another example. John Ray played basketball for 105 minutes. How many hours and minutes did he play basketball? So we convert or we express the 100 minutes into hour and minutes. So 105 minutes is equal to, let's take 60 minutes plus 45 minutes. So it did not, it did not reach 120 minutes. So as again, one hour is equal to 60 minutes so we have one hour plus 45 minutes so the 105 minutes is equal to one hour 45 minutes so john ray played basketball for one hour 45 minutes another example kathy finished running two laps in three minutes 48 seconds how many seconds did she take to finish running in two laps? So we convert 3 minutes 48 seconds into seconds. So 3 minutes 48 seconds is equal to 3 minutes plus 48, 48 seconds. So again, in our conversion, 1 minute is equal to 60 minutes. So if we have 3 minutes, we just multiply 60 by 3 and it gives us 180 seconds plus 48 seconds so we add them it will give us 228 seconds so kathy took 225 seconds to finish running two laps now let's study on telling the time i have here a 12 hour clock so let's review about how to tell time in 12 hour clock notation. So in a 12 hour clock, remember that there are 24 hours in a day. So from 12 midnight, children, until 12 noon, we will use AM to tell the time. So we say 1 AM, 2 AM, 3 AM until 11.59 AM. Then we have the 12 noon. Now, after the 12 noon, we have the p.m., the afternoon. So, in, uh, for after 12 noon, we will say 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., until 11.59 p.m. Then we have the 12 midnight again, and another day begins. So, from midnight to midday or noon, we will use a.m. 
and from 12 noon or midday until midnight we will use pm in telling the time how about in a 12 hour clock system how do we tell the time okay like this a day starts at midnight so our clock we will use zero zero hour so as you can see children in a 24 hour clock we will use four digit four two digit for the hour and two digit for the minutes and we are not using anymore the two dots or colon so again a day starts at midnight so we will say zero zero hour after zero zero hour we have the 1 a.m 1 a.m is in the 12 hour clock but if it's already in 24 hour clock we say we can say one hour or one o'clock without the colon and the a.m. Then we have the two o'clock or the two hour, three o'clock or the three hour, until you will reach until noon time. So how do we say if it's already on the noon time? So at noon, 12 noon, we will say 12 o'clock or 12 hour. Okay, now let's focus on the time when it is already in the afternoon, after the noon time, after the midday. It will go like this. After the noon time, if we have already the 1 p.m. in a 12 hour clock, it will become 13 o'clock or 1300. So let's add 12 to 1. So 12 plus 1, we got. 13 o'clock or 13 hour the same thing with 2 p.m it will become 1400 or 14 hour 3 p.m it becomes 15 hour or 15 o'clock 4 p.m 1600 or we have 1700 1800 1900 2000 2100 2200 2300 and again we have the 12 p.m. and that is already midnight so we have zero zero hour so again as you observe children it consists of four digits and it has no colon okay now let's try to tell that time in 24 hour clock notation okay but before that I have here the diagram of a 12 hour and 24 hour clock Okay, in a 12 hour clock again, it starts from midnight until 12 noon, and that is a.m. From 12 noon until 12 midnight, and that is p.m. However, in a 24 hour clock system, we will not use a.m. and p.m. anymore. This is how to write the time. Okay, now let's try to express the time using a 24 hour clock. Look at the time. This is 10 minutes before 6 in the evening or uh, 15 minutes past 5 in the evening. And at 12 hour clock, it is written as 5.50 p.m. Now, again, how to change it into a 24 hour clock? Let's add 12 hours to the hour. So the hour is 5. So we will add 12 to 5 and that is 17. For the minutes, we will not change. So that is equal to 1750. So 550 p.m. expressed to a 24 hour clock is 1750 hour. Okay. Another example. Look at this one. Let's express this or change to 24 hour clock. So this time is a quarter to two in the morning. So in a 12 hour clock, this is 1:45 a.m. Now, to change this into a 24-hour clock, we will not add 12 because we did not reach the afternoon. We will only add 12 hours, children, if the time is already afternoon or after the noon time. So, the time doesn't really change. So, you have 1.45 without writing the a.m. Okay. So, that's how to tell the time in a 24-hour clock notation. Now, let's compare the time. Sammy left the office at 10 minutes to 5 in the afternoon. Vince left the same office at 4.45 p.m. on the same day. So, 
Look at the time. So who left the office earlier? Okay, let's solve. Look at the diagram. So we have 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. So I have small marks. It's the small marks represent five minutes. So when we say 10 minutes to 5 in the afternoon, that is actually 4.50 p.m. If you we can see, if you look at the clock here, this is actually 4.50 p.m. So it's around here. That is 10 minutes before 5 p.m. Then we have 4.45 p.m. Okay. Now, if you can see, 4.45 p.m. is 5 minutes earlier than 4.50. So, who left the office earlier? Yes, it's Vince. So, Vince left the office 5 minutes earlier than Sammy. Okay, I have here some example children. Try to compare the time. Which time is earlier? So, we have 16.20 or 6.20 p.m. Okay, find which one is earlier. Another, 18.15 or a quarter to 8 at night. So, which one is earlier? The other one, which time is later? So, we have 18.55 or 5.58 p.m. Or, 20.40 or a quarter to 9 at night. So, which one is later? Okay, so I will wait or reserve your answers. So, during our Zoom meeting, you already have your answers. So, children, that's how to compare the time. Okay, P6, that's all about converting time and telling time using the 24-hour clock notation and also comparing the time, which one is earlier and which one is later. I will discuss more about this lesson during our Zoom meeting, so get ready. And thank you for watching, children, and I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everybody and have a great day.